I wanted to make a video about a very controversial figure named Patrick Lancaster. He is a journalist who has been living in Ukraine since 2014 and um, he's been reporting on things that aren't necessarily mainstream. Um, he used to work for Reuters News and a bunch of news um, stations, but he found them to be not honest, and so he's become a freelance journalist instead now, and currently he has taken the highly controversial position of reporting from behind Russian um, lines. So he is with the Russian military reporting news from what he's seeing from their side. So pretty much all of the Western news is reported from the side of the Ukrainian military. But this is um, something completely different. And of course he's finding completely different information. And it's very controversial. <clears throat> and um, I wouldn't be interested in this if it wasn't for things that I have found in my readings that have actually changed my opinion, perspective on things that are going on there. Um, and I would like to say things are not so black and white. It's not like one side is good and the other side is bad. It's much more complicated than that. <clears throat> so. Going into what I was reading for when I tuned into Patrick Lancaster, what first came up was this dark blue energy that represented him. And what I was immediately seeing was him being angry at what he's seeing. I saw babies and children mistreated and him being very emotionally charged. And I got the sense that he has chosen his side. He is wanting to expose a specific situation to the mainstream media, and he's angry at the US media. He's determined to show a specific injustice to the world. I did get that he has somewhat of a narrow vision on the situation in the sense that he's honed in on one angle of things. And this is not to discredit him, but that's just the way that I was seeing it. I get that he's, he's so determined that he is not really interested in seeing anything more or other information until he is able to fully complete the project of his focus. Um, until this injustice towards children is exposed. And I specifically was getting injustice towards children. I know that he reports on other things than that, but when I was reading it, that was showing up, and it seems that that seems to be kind of the, the drive behind it. At least that's the way that I was reading it. He doesn't, what I'm getting is he doesn't care about anything else other, um, people may be saying because he is just so passionate about his work so it doesn't really matter what other people say he's just going to continue doing what he's doing and saying what he's saying and he is very upset I was coming through very strongly that he is very upset and he stubbornly wants to make his point he's showing very specific situations only because of being so stuck on this one issue and that's not necessarily inauthentic that's just where he is he has chosen what he wants to show and may highlight certain things while ignoring other situations but it's not so much that he's ignoring them he's just not focused on them when I do tune into him I get that he is not lying but he is trying to make a point he feels he needs to be thorough in his assessment 
before he can move to the next thing because he needs to make it clear what is happening. Although the situation is more complex than what he may necessarily be showing, he feels the aspect he is portraying is being ignored and therefore he feels he is exposing the hidden truth. He is at war and in real danger is what I was getting. Like this isn't this isn't fake. This is like real serious danger that he's putting himself in. His job is very specific and hones in on only specific details which he hunts out to film. With his sense of justice and emotions running high, he may speculate in ways to prove his points that are half truths or using facts with possibilities or assumptions. Keep in mind this is me really searching for anything I can say that, that potentially could be inauthentic. But it doesn't mean that what he's saying is is inauthentic or false. I'm actually getting that he is speaking the truth. I do not see him lying, but only reporting what he believes. His strong opinions may sway his perception of the story of the bigger picture, but it is based in truth. He is not working for anyone or reporting things on the behalf of anyone else. So he's, he's not corrupted by being told to report specific things. He's doing this all on his own. Not working for Putin, not working for any special interests. Um, although he can be emotionally manipulated um, as one would be in a war situation. This is only minor, and most of what he sees and expresses are authentic, although somewhat speculative, more than he would like to admit in some situations. Again, this is me kind of just digging for anything I can find. He wants to make the world a better place overall. He's pushing a narrative to prove a point. He helps those close to him, and those close to him have been on a specific side which is what he sides with, which would be the Russian narrative, obviously. I get that he has a very aggressive personality, but I don't mean that in the negative sense of aggressive. I mean like a, um, like a type A personality. He, although I do get on some level he is looking for combat and like in the sense that he's looking for competition or he's, he's, he's trying to challenge the status quo is one example of this, but I also just get that it's kind of just his general personality to be, you know, on the opposite side of a situation and kind of like for the underdog or like he may be potentially good at debate club, but I don't want to say that necessarily because that's not what I'm reading. I'm just trying to explain what I mean by looking for combat. I don't mean that literally or in a violent way or in a destructive way. I mean that in a more intellectual way. Um, he is telling the truth, but keep in mind he is on one side and his opinions may dismiss other situations that may be more nuanced in nature. So this is my reading on Patrick Lancaster. I do find him to A, be an honest person and B, not be working for any interests other than his own. So I find that very interesting. But also keep in mind C that he is um, he does have somewhat of an agenda and is somewhat emotionally charged as one would naturally be in a situation like that. So if you like this video I appreciate a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. If you would like a private reading, you can always check out my website, psychictai.yolasite.com, and I will post the link to that 
below this video. Also, I will post a video of an interview with Patrick Lancaster that I found to be very interesting. So check that out if you want to learn more about him and kind of what he's about. Thank you for watching and have a great day.